Did you ever truly love me? Did you ever cheat on me? And if so, how many times? If you could tell me or do anything right now, I want you to say it or do it right now. Last question of the video. Don't matter what it is. God, we just look so fucking good. Don't touch me. This just looks so fucking good. I look bald head. You do. What's good, Duffy Gang? It's your boy Tyler Duff, and I'm back with another video. Yeah, I said it. What the What's shade good? on the intro, though? And yeah, I messed up your intro. What's, What's good? good, Duffy Gang? We're back with another video today. Bet you wasn't expecting to see me, huh? Yeah. What's good, Duffy Gang? It's your boy Tyler Duff, and I'm back with another video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Okay, like, I'm gonna give you some time. And go ahead and follow me on Instagram so that you can be caught up with everything I got going on, even though Instagram kind of suck right now. Anyways, I still be posting on Instagram because, you know, that's where all the real ones be going. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't really use Twitter. Twitter sucks too. Honestly, social media sucks nowadays, so. I'm an old man. I don't have a Twitter. No, old people be on Twitter. Tweeting about politics and stuff. Today, I am going to be asking my lovely Anthony, I guess, my ex, awkward questions. You've been holding questions for years? Baby, pipe down. <laughs> Nobody needs to know that. Oh my god. Just to break down any barriers that are in this video, I feel like Anthony and I have matured a lot over the past two years. We could have had churn by now. <laughs> Not just. <laughs> I saw your cheek. Your cheek twitched. <laughs> your cheek twitched. I saw that. I saw that. I don't need no little dust running around like that. I need some of the dust running around. I almost had your last name. Well, we're gonna get out a lot of things here today. So thank you for coming back to Thailand's podcast. I should start a fucking podcast. Why have I never thought about that? Let me get on Amazon and buy me a mic. <laughs> you start me a motherfucking podcast. You can get one a Dollar Tree. <laughs> I don't know if this video is gonna be long, but you know, we should definitely get everything out here now. Because back then, baby, if you be looking at these old titles and these old thumbnails and all this childishness that was going on a couple years ago, did you really connect the dots? Yes, if you were really invested into being in that drama, then yeah, you were definitely connecting the dots. But now we're gonna get out some things today. Are you ready? I'm, I'm ready trying to, to connect, connect the dots. What dots? We're gonna be connecting a lot of dots here, babe. <laughs> when you say babe, I already know I'm in trouble. Why am my chair squeaking like this? Like I'm just a right. fucking fat yeah. ass. <laughs> So we're gonna start here with the first question. First question is, did you ever truly love me? Yes. Yeah? I can say, I still love you, but not love you as in like be with you. I love you for like being friends. And if you ever need a shoulder to cry on or somebody to call, you can't. I have that much love for you. As far as like dating and shit, man, that love dead. Um, next question. <laughs> would you date me again? I'm just not hearing it. God, I'm trying to keep up. Um, would I ever date you up. again? Um, if the timing is right in the future and we both still sitting here looking lost as hell and I'm already getting wrinkles on my face and I just look like an old man and then nobody wants you because you're a wrinkly ass old man too. Then we can go ahead and just get together with, with our old wrinkly self. I'm gonna be wrinkly. So yeah, if nobody wants us when we're ugly and wrinkly and old, Look, I'll hit you up. I don't know. Up. Look, and this go for all the little ducks watching this. I don't know if we get ugly, <laughs> but we do get wrinkly and gray. Not one single family member of yours is ugly. You, Anthony? Y'all all got the good genes. Oh, you're so sick. How almost pain. How would that work? Would I, I would have still been Mr. LaDuff. I recently found out that I had an Anthony LaDuff cousin that died in 2020. Yeah. Oh, so recent. Recent. He was old though. I'm like 80. Oh, oh. Yeah. At any point, did you see yourself spending forever with me? Yes. I mean, I got down on one knee and proposed to you in front of your family. Y'all, there was a lot going on that motherfucking day. I thought- Let me tell you that. I thought I would be spending the rest of my life with you. Oh, and my heart's over here. <laughs> <laughs> Questions are gonna get a little bit more intense now. Did you ever cheat on me? And if so, how many times? No, I did not cheat on you. At all. But I will say when we broke up, I do believe in the factor if we're broken up and I already, like I explained to you, I have been done wrong. I already have issues. So if you do listen to me and you know, my 
my issues, what I got going on. Don't make me feel as less than a person and kick me out just because we're arguing. Because I sure as hell, if I'm arguing with you, and I've already said this, you ain't even nowhere. Sit your ass on the couch, good bit. And you kicked me out. I had nowhere to go. I can't go to mom, dad, because they don't accept me really. So I went to somebody else's house. Now I will say, slept naked, yes, but actually do something? No. I needed a place to stay and it was embarrassing to sleep in my car. I mean, at least you gave me my car at that time. We've been through a lot, y'all. <laughs> Yeah. We've been through a lot. My poor door. I always. My poor door still got duct tape on it from that incident with us. Y'all know I almost ran this man over with the car. Y'all know I. Well, really you kicked my car door in and dented it with your foot. I have a heavy kick. I'm talking about really. Luckily, I had a suction cup and was able to pull the bitch out. But that crease, that line is still in there. So the inside door panel is like ripped in half because we played tug of war with the fucking door because I was trying to shut the door and you were trying to open the door to kill me. Calm down. You're right. These are Dr. Phil questions. Next they question. They don't need to know that. Yeah, but when you love somebody, you're going to do off the wall things because it's like, how can you not listen? It doesn't mean that that's acceptable. There should be it's ways not. that you were. But like you said, to... we matured. Those then, were childish things. Was. We were barely in our 20s at that was. time. And still, a lot of people didn't understand why I still gave Anthony a place to stay even after that we broke up. Now, y'all may not realize it, but I understood Anthony's living situation and still wanted him around so that he had a place to stay. Yes, at first, it was like, get the fuck out of my face. But it was more so like, I'd rather you be here than dead. He's the only person that has truly cared for me, even if we're not dating. Did you ever talk to your ex while you were with me at any point? No. Are you talking about any, any no, ex? Any? No. Dead? Not at all. Did I ever do anything that made you jealous? Yes. What? He actually pissed me off a lot. What? Remember when I was working nights and you were petty and was like, I want you to think something. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me. I work nights. No, that's I'm not already jealous. not in the bed with you at night and you have the audacity. <laughs> the audacity to pay some to pay. To say something. And I know he never did anything. He was just <laughs> talking his shit, but he knew how to get underneath my skin. Cause I can't leave work and he would have say some. I want you to think that way. Yo. Do you not I was ready to come through that motherfucking door. Anthony, it was because <laughs> you literally always thought that I was doing something. Cause you would make so, it seem like you was. No, I didn't. You just thought it. He so too friendly. At the end of the day, as a mature, I as a mature couple, there is guidelines and standards to where you know each other enough to not disrespect each other and that form factor when you know each other. It wasn't a form of disrespect. Okay, y'all. So yes, I am friendly and I am a people pleaser. I've gotten better over it, like about that over time. Um, you don't even like me but now. <laughs> I've never liked people, but I'm a people pleaser. You see how that goes? A Virgo. Wow. Don't date one. <laughs> I was a people pleaser. So I can admit I would know when someone was interested in me or thought that I was attractive. And although if they compliment me or try and make a joke to see if I laugh, I'll be like, oh, you know, like, ah, oh, that's so funny. Like, oh my God. You know, because I didn't want to be rude. I can understand the consequences after that. You know what I'm saying? Like the, from your significant other being like, no, I know you didn't laugh at that man's joke. And I'm like, hey, you know, I'm just trying to be nice. Like, I know, but he's not getting any. So in my mind, I'm thinking, you just got to, like, know where I'm coming from. But I can understand where Yeah, I was just about to from. say that. We do understand each other. We can sit here, and we have never, that was one thing. We can sit here and look at other people. And be like, damn, babe, you see that nigga has? You got a big booty over there. We were. We mm -hmm. did that. Man or female. We were able we to were tell each other and be like, you see that over there? And we would be okay. okay. Oh my gosh. I would agree with him know. and he would agree with me. And we understand fine people when we see them. You have eyes. You got eyes. Some people are built weird. Some people are built we weird. We did have maturity for our age. We did. But we still had our problems for our age. Did. I think that's why we're friends now. We were mature enough to where- The AC's so fucking loud. All I hear is I clicked it, I clicked it. You better. You only got one year of bad luck. Where's your phone for the questions? I don't even fucking know. I don't even know. Talk care. about me. What's your biggest regret in our relationship? Not realizing my mistakes and trying to grow from them. But I understand that I'm very ignorant. You know that already about me. I'm very ignorant. But ignorant or just hard Me trying to grow and not 
be as ignorant, that's my mistake. If you love somebody, you're gonna listen. I mean, I do listen, but I didn't listen at the same time. <laughs> so I don't know how you. So you're getting yourself. emotional. Next. Did no, you... it's not emotional. That's just the answer. Okay. This was the past, honey. Was next question. No shot. I wasn't trying to take a shot. You drinking my damn juice? Like I'm putting. I'm that sipping juice. it. Be lucky. I'm sipping it because you know I literally will drink this in like an hour. You can keep no juice, no nothing in the refrigerator with me. Yeah, or food. Okay. I'm a grown man. You get it. Anyways, did you enjoy our sex life? <laughs> what? Is that even a question? We did some stuff. I will say we're not. Oh my god, wait, we were together for so long that we genuinely did some stuff. You are the only person that I have consecutively, because we were dating, have romantic We didn't have to do the whole dominant who do 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 it was just compassionate love i felt like like i didn't need to sling you up against the wall bite your lip and almost break the tv and you did you did sometimes did yeah oh my god you realize like i'm that ex that will show up at thanksgiving to your family thanksgiving you could show up with your new boo and i'm already sitting at the dinner table talking about some, get some stuffing <laughs> what hey new boyfriend Boy, say, get some stuff in. I don't like the way you did that. You was too excited for that, for that question right there. Oh my gosh. Did you, do you, to this day, think about me while you're having sex? Or have you ever? You know what's crazy? I don't think about you, but I lose my sex drive easily because it's not you. I don't need to think about you. It's just my friend downstairs has been used to your friend down there. So anything different, it's like, mm, like per se, like I said, we do, we did the romantic sex in my eyes or whatever. So when it comes to me trying to have sex with other people, and you know, this is one of my flaws, I tend to do the whole romantic little sex thing. So I catch feelings easily. And that's all I know how to have. I'm not an aggressive person, not like that. And if you try to be aggressive, <laughs> Down to nothing. I can literally be in the middle of clapping some cheeks. And all you gotta do is just say some, <laughs> what did that one dude say? Do it harder, daddy. And I was like, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Me! And then he said, did you nut? And I'm like, no. No. What she said? One hand on frontal. <laughs> mine, mine. <laughs> Exit stage left. And this is the last question of this video. If you could tell me or do anything right now, I want you to say it or do it right now. Last question of the video. Don't matter what it is. I hope you're happy you're in your new relationship. Are you toxic enough out there know what that was? If it don't work out with your new man, you know where I'm at. <sighs> we were on a good roll here. I did open up Pandora's box though and said, say I mean, whatever you, you want to say and do. But, you know, as friends, I will respect you. That's why I said, as a friend being real, just let me know. I'm here for you. And I do hope it does work out with you and your new man. New man, boyfriend, ex. Whichever one of them works out. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. I'm clocking out. Now as being old and these shots got to Well, we definitely drinking more after this. But it's actually been two years. No, it has. Over. Over? Yeah. Where my child support at? Last time I checked, you wasn't taking care of us and Frank. And yeah, there was a- Court documents? And me being nice are two different things. I have moved, me being nice, I have moved twice. Me being nice. I have moved twice. And about to move again. Where is my motherfucking money? Don't make me call D Will. Call him because he needs to bring me back my motherfucking child anyway. He don't need to bring you nobody. He do. And that is all of our child. Everybody getting fought out here. <laughs> if I don't give my motherfucking child back. D Will, you can send him this section of this video. If I don't give my motherfucking child Everybody back. know I don't play behind my child. I don't play behind D my child. D will not play behind my child. Can Here's we just stop already? 
Over. That's it. Can we just... Turn the camera. 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 No. No. Didn't. I didn't. Because you don't want to make me take these shots. I didn't. And then now I got to sit here and do... I didn't... Put your little flowers on your chest and your little tattoo on your arm for a rose. I didn't conclude the video. To conclude this video, go ahead and make sure that you like this video. Comment and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. And I'll see y'all in the next video, okay? This is. You ready for another shot or? Duh. <laughs>